I'll be re-watching this live stream that was recorded a bit ago and seeing how my process went. We did a live stream about character design. I've been designing characters based off of objects. We got a few requests, but the dragon fruit I think was my favorite one because the dragon fruit has so much you can work with, right? There's a lot of shape language, a lot of colors, very vibrant colors that I don't tend to work with. And also like I heard dragon in that name. So I was like, I might as well design a dragon character that seems like appropriate. It's called the dragon fruit because it looks like dragon scaling, right? And I really wanted to play off that. I really wanted to create this dragon-esque character. So again, keeping the really simplified chibi proportions in there very similar to the first few characters that i did i wanted to create this over exaggerated smaller dragon character and my first thought was like okay i see the shape within the dragon fruit itself i see a lot of these scaly kind of bits but these leafy bits that you know most people would be like oh it's scales i wanted to create those as horns and i wanted to let that go through the hair as well that was mostly where i was thinking that was what I thought of for the shapes. And then as the wings came around, I was like, I'll get for these like really unrealistic looking wings because I wanted something really stylized. It's not like the dragon fruit has wings. So maybe her wings aren't actually functioning wings either. So I made them these kind of fun little vestigial wings, but I wanted to make sure that the shape language of the actual dragon fruit wasn't lost. So I gave her a bit of a tunicky like skirt thing and I let that echo throughout the entire body. So I added a bit more of that patterning to the end of the tail as well. But yeah, so the same deal with the other characters. I wanted to keep these lines a bit rougher so I could move a bit quicker throughout the entire thing. If you'd like to support the channel in the creation of free arts education, become a member on Patreon. The dragon fruit itself, by comparison to the gummy worm character, the dragon fruit is very sharp. It's a very sharp looking um, object, despite it being a fruit. It's a rounded fruit, but it has a lot of sharp edges. And I wanted to keep that within the design. So I was like, okay, I will make sure that these lines also feel very sharp edge. So I kept in a lot of my sharp edges, a lot of my harsh, intense geometry that comes with my line work a lot of the times. And when the coloring came around, this was the tricky part because I don't tend to work with very, very vibrant colors. And the dragon fruit is a very, very vibrant fruit. It is this bright, this bright, bright pink with bright, bright green leaves that are at the ends. And like, despite those two colors, it technically, they're not exact opposites, but they're very, very close to being complementary colors. So working with that, these two extremely bright colors was a challenge because I'm like, I don't want to blow anybody's eyes out. <laughs> um, so I need to figure out how to make these colors work together. Like, obviously they work together because the dragon fruit itself is beautiful, but within a design, I didn't want to make it too intense, you know what I mean? So I needed to really think of how to balance these colors back out so they're not super, super intense. And what I went with was instead of them being completely saturated and like everywhere, I made sure that the balance of each color was present throughout the entire design. And I would desaturate it, I would resaturate it, so on and so forth. Like the horns I kept as green to mimic the leaves, but I kept the skin tone like a skin tone color, not an inhuman one, to add a neutral back in there. Um, the hair, I think, is this, the part that I kept the brightest. I kept the hair and the tail, the brightest sections of this entire design, because I wanted those, I wanted the brightest sections to be present within the extremities of the body. So that was the hair, the tail, the wings. The wings especially really had the extremities nice and bright. And I also still wanted to have the CD texture present throughout. So I'm like, where am I going to put that? I'll probably put that at the underside. Um, and I'll put that in an area between the wings. So it's somewhere where it's not too centered and I can just have it at the edges of the entire design. You can see a lot when we hit the end of the design, I started to struggle <laughs> with the colors because I didn't want to just keep the entire thing, you know, skin toned completely. I want to add in a bunch of, um, extra little flavoring to the design itself. So I was like, okay, I'm not gonna keep the entire design just skin tone. I kind of want to add in more dragony elements, but the arms and the legs, I struggled with a lot. I was like, okay, how are these colors gonna work? Um, at one point, I think I asked chat, I was like, okay, what color do we like more here? Because I, I couldn't figure it out. And then chat was like, oh, what if we had like the nails like black so that it mimics the seeds? We switched it to black nails with the pink. So it kind of resembled seeds within there and I was like that's a pretty good idea so it resembled that sort of like fruity motif so never be afraid to ask for a second set of eyes when you're working with a design because that's really really important join a virtual class to learn live from our professional artists get creative assignments individual guidance and real-time feedback on your artwork start today and level up your practice if you learn something new like and share this with a fellow art nerd if you love receiving quality and free arts education subscribe
If you enjoyed this video, here's a couple other videos you can check out next.